there are times when you should quit your job for your happiness, for your health, and for career progress. Given the amount of time we spend at work, knowing the signs you should quit your job will make you a lot happier and will make your career a lot more successful, assuming you actually move job when one or more of these signs occur. For each of the signs, I take you through why moving is important and how to make the best of your situation. Five signs you should quit your job are and at the end of the video, I list out eight questions you should ask yourself before you quit your job. Going through these will improve your decision making and your timing to quit your job. My name is Jess Coles and I've had a 25 year management career in corporates and household names through to SMEs, from professional level through to board director level and I quit my job and moved company multiple times in my career. Looking back, each of these moves was great for my career and happiness. And if you're new to this channel, Enhanced.Training shares business and people management expertise to help you improve your performance and that of your team and business. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. The first sign you should quit your job is when your career has stalled. If learning new skills, expanding your experience and knowledge and moving your career forward is important to you, then professional development at a pace that suits you is a must. Even in the best jobs, there are times when your career development leaps ahead and others when it slows to a crawl for periods. When you hit periods of slow development, how long do you wait for the next development spurt is a key question. Speak to your manager about what opportunities, you know, projects, activities and problems you can get involved in to further develop your skills and experience. Ask when the development opportunities are going to be available. Think about your company situation and what that means for your development. You know, mature companies with modest growth usually don't have nearly as many development opportunities as fast growing companies, for instance. And larger companies should have more opportunities than smaller companies. Find out what development opportunities will be available and when before seriously thinking about whether you should quit your job. If you think there is limited development opportunities for you or they're too far away, then start looking for jobs in other companies that will provide you with a better chance of moving your career forward. And once you get external job offers, you then have a choice. You stay or decide when it is time to quit your job. Sign two, you should quit your job, is when you have a bad boss. Your boss has a massive impact on your career within the company you're working. They decide what tasks, activities, projects and problems you'll get involved in. They can help you move your career forward or they can stop it in its tracks. If your manager doesn't support your promotion, the chances of getting promotion are very slim. If your manager doesn't like you, doesn't rate you professionally, or generally thinks poorly of you for whatever reason, then you should start looking for opportunities elsewhere. When to quit your job? Usually best when you have a better job to go to and a better manager to work for. You should quit your job as soon as possible when you have a bad boss. Also explore if there are opportunities to move teams within the company. This changes your boss with less effort than moving companies. Don't stick with a bad boss unless you're sure they're leaving or moving to another team soon. The third sign you should quit your job is when your work is not appreciated. You get interesting tasks, activities and projects when your current work is appreciated and valued. You get promotions when your current work is appreciated. You should quit your job if your work is not appreciated and valued after getting a job offer to move to a better job where you and your work will be appreciated. Before you quit your job, ask your manager why they don't appreciate your work. Ask what you need to do so your manager and other stakeholders will appreciate your work. Ask to set clear, realistic goals. Achieve them and see if they start appreciating you and your work. Good managers will praise good work. We all like to receive praise for good work done. Working hard and doing a good job and then hearing nothing is a big letdown. Do not put up with no appreciation. Challenge their behaviour and if nothing changes, then work out when it's time to quit your job. Sign four, you should quit your job, is when your salary stays below market rates. 
When you get a new job in another company, you typically will get a 10 to 20% pay rise. Staying in your current company rarely gets you such a large pay rise, even when it comes with a promotion. Keep an eye on the market rates, what other companies are paying for your role. Having up-to-date knowledge is very useful when negotiating pay rises with your boss and HR. If your salary falls below market rates, ask for a pay rise to keep up with market rates. If your salary stays below market rates, despite pressurising for a higher salary, you should quit your job and move to a company that appreciates and values your skills and work more highly and pays you more. Salary is one of the elements that provides a fair exchange for the work you put in. Salary is not the only area you should consider. For instance, if you're getting amazing experience and skills, getting paid a lower salary in the short term will hopefully be okay. Get the skills and experience and the money, status, etc. will follow, which has been my experience time and time again throughout my career. So think about all the factors that are important to you for this point in your career. You should quit your job if your salary stays below market rates and move to a company paying more for your skills. The fifth sign you should quit your job is when you have too much work. The level of work you're able to comfortably manage depends on many individual factors. Your companies, particularly in tough times, try to squeeze as much work out of each individual working for them. Your salaries are largely fixed, so getting more work done makes commercial sense for the company, to a point. Too much work for individuals leads to higher levels of stress and anxiety, which in turn can lead to physical and mental health problems if you have too much work for too long. If you find yourself heading up and over the stress curve, speak to your manager and ask for less work. Explain why. It is in your manager's and company's interest to reduce your workload back to more sensible levels, particularly if you are considered an above average employee. If damaging levels of work continue and your manager is not trying to reduce it, after discussing work levels with them, you should quit your job and move to another company which does not put unrealistic pressures on its employees. When to quit your job is a very personal question to answer. It will be different for everyone depending on many individual factors and preferences. I recommend that you get a new job offer before quitting your current job, whenever you can. It is much easier to get a new job when you are in a job. So 8 questions to ask yourself before quitting include Firstly, how long have I been feeling like quitting? You know, the longer this period is, the more need to act. Secondly, what job do I really want? Is it a sideways move or aiming for a promotion or something completely different? The third question, what would I give up by quitting my job? This focuses you on the positives of the job, which can be easy to forget when things are tough. Fourth question, what would I gain by quitting and moving to another role? You know, make sure the grass really is greener on the other side. Fifth, have I explored every sensible option with my employer? This can be daunting, yet a step that can result in very positive changes without moving companies. The sixth question, are my expectations realistic? Check you don't have rose-tinted glasses when thinking about new jobs and what they can provide you. Seventh question, can I afford to quit my job? If you have a big mortgage or other financial commitments, getting a new job offer before quitting may be a must for you. And then eighth, is now the right time? You know, think carefully about the pros and cons and speak to your manager about future opportunities so you have the best realistic picture. And if you really have hit rock bottom with your current job, act quickly to get a new job offer so you are able to quit your job as quickly as possible. So in summary, staying in an unfulfilling, boring or stale job will do little for your happiness and career progress. If you have a toxic or bad boss, take action as quickly as practical to quit your job and work for a better manager. You spend so much time at work, so make that time as enjoyable and rewarding as possible for you. And as a reminder, the five signs you should quit your job we have gone through are firstly, when your career has stalled. Secondly, when you have a bad boss. Third, when your work is not appreciated. Fourth, when your salary stays below market rates. And fifth, when you have too much work.
and do take a look at how to resign professionally from a job so you can keep all of your bridges intact and keep your manager and colleagues firmly supporting you. If you have any questions on when to leave your job, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.